Valentine's Day is all about love, romance, and flowers. But in order to love with all your heart, you've got to keep it healthy. News Channel 9's Betsy Golden spent the morning at Erlanger East. Tashis has more on the unique way nurses are educating women about heart disease, the number one killer in women. This is baby Brooklyn Kate. She's a Valentine's baby. She was given back to her mother with this little red cap. The caps were made by two cardiac rehab nurses hoping to start a conversation about heart health. Attached was a letter saying, I'm wearing this cute little red hat to remind you to love your heart like you love me. Heart disease is the number one killer of women. So please take care of your heart because I'm going to need you a long time. Just look forward to being a good example to her maybe. Um, like we enjoy biking and doing a lot of outside activities with our other two children. Dr. Charles Campbell, the chief of cardiology at Erlanger Health System, says Tiffany is doing the right thing, keeping herself and her children active. He also has some ideas for keeping your heart happy and still keeping the romance on Valentine's Day. So on Valentine's Day, today is a great day to take a walk. Take your sweetheart, go for a nice walk. He also recommends dark chocolate, one glass of red wine with a leafy green dinner, and a comedy. Lots of laughter to keep your heart healthy and avoid heart attack. This is the number one leading cause of death. Is that That's correct? Right. More than breast cancer, uh, you know. Though I think those are very important, a very important issue. But really, this is this is it: a heart disease and stroke. Women and men will usually present with pain, discomfort in their in their chest, in the center of their chest. It will often radiate to their jaw or their arm. Sometimes it's associated with nausea, nausea or lightheadedness. He wants you to avoid these symptoms and ending up in the hospital. So enjoy your Valentine's Day and dark chocolate without guilt and laugh a lot. But Betsy Golden, News Channel 9. Tens of thousands.